50 throw shot by Global Port while 8 for Petron in the second period. Both have come back then and turn over from Global Port uh, in the second quarter. Uh, Renato Balkman passing inside to June Mar Fajardo. Pareho hindi nakalaro machado in the second quarter. Balkman because of foul trouble. Katagad na ask for na si Willie Miller. Miller gets on the board on that fast break. Tubit kicks it out, passing it to the wrong guy. Dating magkakampayan sa Barako. Baka na-confuse itong dalawang mamang ito. Now they're on different teams. Global Port na si Willie. Nasa Petron na si Ronald Tubit. The four-point lead for Petron. 40 seconds gone by. Laulaw ang tira ni Sol Mercado from the outside. Well, kanina nakita natin si Willie Miller scoring his first two points for Global. I think Coach Junel Pacoli, as well as Coach Olsen Vercella, must have told these players that you need to be able to get balanced scoring, get everyone involved in the offense, make it a little more difficult for the defense to set up and to mark the guys. Here's Bachman. Tagal-tagal na upo yan. He passes over to Fajardo. Fajardo on the reverse. And on that play, ang ganda na ginawa ni Fajardo. Kahit ang laki ng kalaban, he didn't hesitate to go for that move. Well, he showed his poise. Yan ang nakikita natin kay Fajardo. No? He's showing more and more maturity as the games progress. So, hindi siya nagpanik in that situation. He faked and got the position to score inside. Nakikita ni Justin Williams getting the two right back dyan sa loob ng shaded lane. Here's Buckman. Coming from the outside, tapik palabas. Itong si Japet Aguilar. Ayan. Ano mo nangyari halftime sa mga dugout na magkabilang kapunan? Alamin natin mula kay Erika Eric Badil. Global Port just needs to bring down two things. Turnovers and turnover points. Makikita naman daw, sabi ni Coach Junet, na wala pa masyado ang chemistry. Pero confident pa rin siya na veterano naman daw lahat. And hopefully magawa ng paraan. As for Petro naman, adjustments lang sa defense. Dahil nagulusutan daw sila ng Global Port ng extra passes. And they have to work better on their offense para daw makuha nila ang mga shots. Balik sa inyo. Well, nice point brought up there. No? Ang ganda talaga ng Pasahan ng Global Port uh, in the first half. They're able to share the ball and get easy baskets because of that. Masadong malakas ang pasa ni Miller ahead to Mercado. And the Padilla. And uh, it was very obvious in the first half. Kasi naka 14 turnovers on Global. It's against only 7 for Patron. Patron also getting the advantage to turn points. 12 to 6. Here's Fajardo. The double team came. Litabas kay Kabagnot. The hesitation. Going over to Papa! What a jam in the lane! Coming from Alex Kabagot, Bachman. Nobody home that time. Strong move to the hole. Release three. Walayan. Kapag not. Kicks it over to Lanete. Inside to Bachman for two. And that's going to be a foul inside. Williams. And Williams, of course, his attention is occupied by Junman Fajardo. At the four spot, Bachman can be unstoppable. Ngunit nagbintin sa kanyang bonus free throw, pangalawang beses na yan, nagbintin mula sa linya si Baltman. The pass of Mercado to Justin Williams, the miss on the layup one more time, wala na naman yan. Good challenge mula kay Junmar Fajardo, Lanete is running, they go to Kabagnot. Out to Tubit, all day for the three, rolls out. Gary D naman nakakuha, no hesitation sa tres. Bitin yan pero natamaan. Tatlong free throw yata, ibibigay ng ating referee on that play. That looks like, more like a frustration foul on the part of the Lupin. They need to get their points, they need to be able to share the ball. And that's why, big responsibility on the part of Mercado to share the ball and facilitate, get the ball moving. Ano pag-usapan mo nga yung sharing the ball na yan dito? I think may blueprint na yan dito sa ating liga eh. It's nag-champion yun sa last conference. Yung talk and text pro pag yes. Yung lineup na napakaraming pwede kong score doon. And yet, they all score in the low double figures. Six or seven of them and they win ball games. So, bakbakan sa gitna. Justin Williams sticks out. The elbow might be called for a flagrant. Jun Marfajardo taking it on the chop. That was very clear. It was above the neck. And so the call had to be made. Forget about whether it was malicious or not. The fact that there was contact above the neck area with the elbow, that's a flagrant too. Goodbye for Justin Williams. And I don't know if he's going to be suspended for the next game. Maybe naman hindi. Hindi naman siguro, pero for now, goodbye. Eight minutes remaining dito sa ating third quarter and a full 12 minutes of the fourth. So step up time at kinito para sa mga big boys. Chapit Aguilar, si Romena Ducol, pumasok na. Jason Deutschman, they have to make up for the loss of that intimidating important side. But you know, one way they can uh, sort of 
counteracting nangyari sa teams. And then he was uh, drafted by the Santa Cruz Warriors of the NBA Dili. And so far, si Aguilar, nakaka-6 points lang. Two jumpers and a layup. Deutschman, drop to Jopet. Jopet against the point guard. Ten seconds on the shot clock. David on the run. Gary Hook shot Gary. into the basket off the glass. Para kay Gary D. Lead it down to two. Para sa Blaze Boosters. I think they tried to go to Bachman or Fajardo every time down the floor. Nakaago pa si Jopet Aguilar. Can Bachman catch him? Jopet finishing on the break. Showing some dribbling skills. Dapat making it a little more difficult para sa kanya. But he didn't go for the dunk. Kasi hinabot siya ni Bachman. He just wanted to make sure that Bachman was not there to block the shot. So good move on the part of Japet Aguilar. Showing some signs of maturity. Tapos lang ating score. When nakita nga natin kanina, nagganda na mga pasa niya inside. Yeah. Learning how to look for his teammates in a better position. And then that time, not trying to go for the dunk. Dahil baka masupalpal pa. Pahardo against Adukol. They hit the deck. And uh, alam, alam po sa natin, na yes, alam po natin ang gila sa eh, maglalaro sa FIBA Asian Championships. Dito po gagawin yan, 16 teams. Three of them, the three highest finishers, will represent Asia in the FIBA World Championships in Spain in 2013. They wanted to go for an eye in the sky play. Para kay Jabit Aguilar, bitin ang kanyang uh, dunk at them, pero may foul lang din ako. Pasok din sa pool na yun mula naman sa Global Sport. Kapla na naman ang ating laro, 2 for 2. Jabit Aguilar, 10 points na sa ating laro. Needing to step up dahil wala na ang import ng Global Sport. Sent to the shower dahil sa flagrant, flagrant 2. Tubit, cracking it down. Offensive rebound, jumper from 17. Bitin yan, sa rebound place yung mga kuha. Arwin Santo, from to the basket. May contact pa, chance for a three-point play. You see the level of confidence ng Petron going sky high. Kasi alam niya, alam nila, wala na si Justin Williams. Now they're going for the offensive rebounds. They know they've got Pogman. And plus, meron silang additional height with Jay Washington and Arwin Santos playing together. Yan ang big lineup ni Coach Olsen Racela generating more offense, generating more opportunities to get the second chance opportunity. Ano yung talon talaga ni Arwin Santos? Bukod sa mataas, mabilis pa. He's a quick jumper on that play. Hindi na nagkataon naka, na tumalun pa ito si Romain Adukul. He tried to defend it and he misses the hook. Ito na naman ang white shirt running the other way. Up by three. Papit ni Gary to Sol. It's a steal. Gary will challenge Bachman. Contact with the basket. Walang foul na tinawag. But a good completion para kay Gary D. Arwin, the press, decides to take it in, kicks it over to Falkman. Short jumper triggles in, para kay Ronaldo. Falkman, number 32. Falkman getting the pass from Arwin Santos. Only 15 points para kay Falkman, but remember, yung import ng kabilang team, si Justin Williams, hindi na nagalaro. Ejected on a flagrant two. Oh, there's a massive to make that call this year. And it's a good call. Pita naman natin ang evidensya. So they have to compensate for the loss of Williams. As Falkman, lefty hook shot inside. Yan na, nag-uumpisa na. Mag-assert ng sarili na ito si Ronaldo Falkman sa pagkat yung kanyang counterpart. Yun na nga, doon na sa showers. Mercado to the basket. Love going to the left. Ito si Sol Mercado. Washington. Great hesitation move and the reverse mula kay Jay Wash. Finnake na yung dalawang malaking mamakin dito. Kali nila lalabas na ulit. Then he drove back into the baseline getting that reverse. Now we're seeing some tremendous individual talent on display here for Petron. That move by Jay Washington. A perfect example yung sinasabi natin. Kanyang ka nung kausap natin si Ronald Tubit. Right after the street, it's up again. Hi, Bahan, it's okay now. When he got in, he said, It's loaded with superstars, so he doesn't have to prove anything. He just needs to be able to blend with uh, what's going on. So, give me a dahilan to bucket yung mga fans ng ng uh, Petron last conference. It's 25, 5 p.m. Dito lamang sa act. 
Mercado hitting the free throw. 406 remaining dito sa ating third quarter. Tapto lang ang lamang ng Petron. And they haven't been able to pull away despite the fact walang import ng na global court. Are we? Deno. Deno si Bogman. Bogman will challenge. Cross court to J-Wash. Three seconds on the shot. J-Wash looks up. Knows it. Takes it from three. Wala ang kanyang tira. But Bogman offensive rebound. Tapi ka ng bola. Ball goes to the black surge. That time kulang sa ball movement. Kulang sa movement on the hole. Ang Petron. If you're just passing the ball to players who are stationary in their positions, the defense is going to take care of your... Of, of bringing down your level of confidence in taking a shot. Mercado wants to tie it up. In and out of his three-point shot. Rebound play. Nakuha pa. Si Mark Yee. What hustle mula sa kanya. Another offensive possession para dito. Gary D to the basket. Too strong. Rebound Jay Wash. Pero Miranda. You're daring him to shoot from three-point country. Well, I am Arwin Santos offensive rebound. Jay Wash to Bogman. He hesitated, pero pasok pa rin ang kanyang lefty hook. Ito si Marky. Chapit Aguilar again, away from the basket. 10 out of his 19 coming dito sa third period. Marky. Challenge the import. He fakes one way, going the other. Ang ganda ng move, pero hindi niya na kompleto. Bachman passing over to Joseph. Yo, the ninja skies. Offensive foul ang tinawag ng ating baseline referee. The point guard position to the hilt. Three-pointer from outside. It's short. Go to Joseph Yo, sa kabilang panig. Ito naman. Double team come, they go to Bachman. Bachman cross court to Jaywash, swing it over top of the key. Seven seconds sa kanilang sack clock. Miranda's layup, pasok yan para kay Denok. That time, penetration move on the part of Miranda. Offensive rebound, showing some hustle. Ito si Marquis, and certainly into the lineup in the third quarter. Sol Mercado, the two challenge of defense, goes up strong, Arwin Santos, sumabit. Sol, babalik sa linya, para sa dalawang free throw na naman. Out sa kanyang mga teammates, the way he was doing it with Meralco. And yung mga teammates naman siya, niya, hindi siya pinapahiya. Kaya double figures na siya in that department. Remember, he led the league in assists sa ating first conference. Jay Wash. The pick mula kay Dorian. First action para kay Ligana. Ay dito sa ating third quarter. Late stages na. Hindi natin kung mga contribute itong reliable point guard mula sa UE. Marquis 3. Wala yan. Easy rebound para kay Arwin. Here of Denok Miranda. Up ahead to Jay Wash. They go to Arwin trading the play. Turns around in the lane. Kicks it out to Joseph Yo. Three point attempt. Right quarter court. Wala yan. Rebound Arwin. Tap si Rin. Wala. Ito si Rudy Ligana. Going the other way. Under a minute remaining dito sa ating third quarter. Gary David going baseline. Bounces it over to Yee. Reverse back to the basket. So a wide open guy underneath the basket. Arwin open from 15. Takes the jump. Swakyan. Para kay Arwin. Sends the lead back to 5. 69-64. 28 seconds na nanitira dito sa ating third quarter. So nakita natin yung FEU connection. Ng Petron. Denok Piranda. Over to Arvin Santos. Last shot time here in this quarter for Global Court. Three second differential game clock and shot clock. Ito si Lingana trying to lose the defender into the lane. Nawalayan, who's gonna pick it up? Drop it outside shot. It's too strong. Four seconds to go. Pena looks up ahead to Arvin. He'll stop. He'll pop from 20 from 35. Nawalayan, 